last Monday, I started a new job. And this time, I needed to get on it straight away. Um, Previously, when I've been brought into a new job, there's been an adjustment period. Now, personally, I think it takes three to six months to get used to a new job. When I went back to BA systems for the second time, it was probably a month to two months. Um, Although there were a few new systems that I hadn't used before, frankly, you just walk back into it and you're used to it. But when it's a new job that, and it's one that you haven't done before, it's definitely will be closer to six to 12 months for you to get the hang of it, get the ropes, get the training and work out what you're doing. But back to this current job, my new job, I needed to get in there straight away. As the project manager, we had deadlines So I need to understand the people, the processes, the place, the company, the customer. And there was quite a lot of pressure. So I thought I'd give you some of my top tips that hopefully I'm doing. And also it just helps because by saying them out loud and recording them, it means I kind of have to do them because I've told the world that I'm going to do them. So firstly, talk to people. Don't just sit in your little desk and think, I'm scared which is what I do generally. Go and chat to people, just walk up to them and be like, hi, what's your name? See if you can get a floor plate map. Um, I was actually really lucky in this job. I, on my first day, I got a map of all the desks and who sits in them, as well as an org chart so I could see what people's roles are and where they sat. And that's the first time I've had that happen for years. And it was so good. Because it means you can sit there and you see someone talking, you can quickly go on your map and go, oh, they're the naval architect. Ooh. And you start to get to know them, at least in your head, and then you can go up to them and ask them questions and hopefully not look like you don't know who you're asking. But it doesn't matter if you ask the wrong person. Remember, everybody knows you're new, so you can make mistakes. And in that first week, first month, you have such an excuse to just go up to people and go, hi, um, I need a thing. Are you the person? Are you not the person? I don't know. When I started my last job, I remember walking into an office and saying, are you Claire the finance lady? The lady was not Claire the finance lady, but frankly, it didn't matter because I was new, she knew I was new, and she was like, no. (laughs) Uh, But she knew who Claire was, and she knew where to find her. And then we got chatting, we could talk about cats, and you meet a new person, even if they're not the person you thought you were meeting. (laughs) Be ready to be wrong, and that is fine, because it's not wrong. Wrong has so many bad connotations. Just be ready to not know what's going on. And don't just give in to the fear, and don't talk to anyone, because if you don't talk to anyone, then you're never going to learn, or it will take you longer to learn, and you'll be on a back foot. First day outfit. (gasps) I'm not going to lie. I spent so long trying to decide what to wear on my first day, and then 10 minutes before I was going to leave, I went, nope, none of this fits me. It all makes me look fat. I'm going to start again. I think this is one of those freakouts that I just let myself have. I try to make sure I've got a uniform for work. Now, for men, this is so much easier. Suit, tie, shirt. Done. Whereas for women, it's a lot harder. So recently, I have got into the habit of basically doing the same as a man. So suit, shirt, no tie because I hate ties. And as a woman, I have the excuse that it's not the norm for women to wear ties, even in business formal. <gasps> the, the patriarchies, you know, they lose out sometimes. I also have a pullover that I wear over it, so on fat days, I just make myself look even fatter, but it looks like it's the clothes and not me. So uh, that's my top tip. But that's the thing, is it's taking away those excuses. You always hear about uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Barack Obama, people like that who have a uniform, they have the clothes that they just wear every day. And first day at work, actually, is the prime time to just do that and just have the outfit that you know you can wear and you know that you don't have to think about. Point number three, when you miss your old job. I do think it is worth adding old colleagues, the ones you've got a bit closer to on Facebook. And although you may not be close and you're not gonna be together every day again with those people, it just gives you that little in that you you can keep tabs on them and see how they're doing, see how their baby is, their cat is. Just before I left my last job, one of my colleagues was buying a house and it was so exciting. And I wanted to be part of that. But when you've left, it's just gone. Most people are on my LinkedIn that I've worked with. Then a few close people go on Facebook, a couple of people who are less close I add on email. It just depends. Um, And then you can let it fizzle out a little bit more organically. Um, Don't overcommit yourself. In your old job you probably did loads of things. If you've been there for a few years you've got the basic job 
and then you slowly add more things to it and as you things become more routine and you get used to them more and more stuff gets added to your role when you go into your new job you'll actually do a lot less at first because you need to get these things into a routine you can't do loads of stuff when it's all new so don't be scared if you feel like you're not pulling your weight as much as you used to obviously after a while you need to start building up but the first week I expect to do basically zero work in my first week um, this week I actually have um, I created a schedule so that we could uh, work out where our progress was don't be too scared in your first week if not much goes on and actually in your first month um, I've been to so many jobs where in your first week you don't even get a laptop um, I've been to jobs where you don't get a laptop for the first couple of weeks Make sure you keep asking questions. Make sure you find out what people used to do in your job. Make sure you find out where documents are kept. Just keep finding out information and keep notes. Actually, this should be a separate point. Step number five, top tips. I think we're up to fifth. The fifth top tip is keep loads and loads and loads of notes. I try to start a new notebook for a new job. Technically, you should throw away old notebooks if they contain company confidential information and you definitely shouldn't take them to your new jobs if your new job is for a competitor. When you're taking notes, just write everything down. Frankly, um, just write anything down that you think you might need again. You may not read your notes, but the act of writing it down helps you remember. I also do loads of printouts in my first week and I find that more useful actually, because my handwriting is terrible. In this last week, I think I've taken 10 pages of notes. Names, places, numbers, the dates, the due dates for deliverables, things like that that it just gives me thinking aid for what I'm doing. Lastly, I want to talk about your relationship with your boss. So this is one that I still need to work on, that I'm not always the best person at cultivating. Your boss is kind of one of the most important relationships in a new job. They're the person who lets you work from home, they're the person who does your progress reviews, all of that. You want them to like you and be on your side. And I don't mean that in a manipulative way, I mean that in a, you want to do a good job. They are the person who's going to give you negative feedback sometimes, if they're a good manager. If they're a bad manager, they may never give you feedback and you'll just be like, I don't know what I'm doing. You need to get to know your line manager and how they work. Now, you can do this in two ways. Firstly, go talk to people and see how they've worked with your line manager, so your peers, other people that they manage. See how they find it, you know, get the feel of the office. Um, also, make sure that you also value your own opinion because other people have built up a relationship with this person over time and sometimes it may build up and it can escalate in a negative way when actually your boss is a very nice person. And don't sort of dismiss other people's opinions but also do form your own opinion and your own relationship. Try not to get dragged into any cliques. My general rule is just don't join cliques. Just don't be part of that, just walk away. Especially in your first week or so, you want to just be cool, be yourself and enjoy yourself. Lastly, don't compare things to your previous job. Actually, as I'm thinking back now, I did this quite a lot in the last week. You don't want to be sitting there going, well at BAE this happened. And it's like, yeah, I know you worked there last, but here we do it like this and it doesn't matter if it's positively or negatively sometimes it's useful so they're saying oh how do we solve this problem and you can be like well in my last job we had this problem and we did this that is fine but you don't want it on a oh the software doesn't work and you'd be like oh, BAE it always worked or a BAE it never worked there's no point in doing those comparisons it starts looking a bit weird think of a new job like being with a new boyfriend or girlfriend um you wouldn't keep comparing them to your previous partner job hunting and jobs are quite like dating in some ways the um social sort of signals are similar same with interviewing if someone interviews you and then kind of ghosts you you don't just keep texting them telling them where are you do you want to go on another date do you want to go on another date do you want to go on another date because that's just weird and a bit stalkery. And it's the same with the first week of a new job. It's all exciting. Make it all about them. Make it all about your new job and what you want to learn. And be positive. Let yourself be in the honeymoon period. Don't sit there moaning. Don't sit there going, I don't like this. Just bask in the fun of a bit of change. And I know it's scary. And bask in the fear. I always believe that fear and excitement are basically the same emotion. It's just how you approach it. Lastly, I think I, did, I started the last point with a lastly. Oh well, well this is definitely the lastly. For any new job or any stressful period, I 
make a section in my notebook which makes me look very sad. It's a set of tick boxes and it's a list of everything I need to do every morning and evening. So the morning one starts with turn off alarm, put on watch, go to the toilet, brush your teeth and moves on from there, getting dressed and all that sort of thing, lists what needs to be in my handbag. Because when you're in that level of stress and you're having to make decisions and you're having to think about things, you don't want to think about the small stuff. Make sure you pack your bag the night before. Again, I have an evening list that lists everything that needs to be packed in my bag, that everything I should get ready. Make sure I have a shower the night before. All stuff like that, because it's very easy to go, oh, I'll have a shower in the morning. Then in the morning, you're like rushing around going, oh, I haven't got time for a shower. Just make sure your morning routine is made simple and easy. Don't add anything in there. Make sure you get petrol for your car in the evening so you don't have to rush in the morning and just look after yourself. The first week of a new job is probably the only time in any job where I actually pack my lunches because you just want to be on top of things. You just want to be able to get to work, think about work, go home and lie down and go. Ugh. So that's how my last week's been. Um, and hopefully that's um, turned into some really good tips about how to deal with your first week of a new job and the stresses that come with it. But actually, it all turns out fine. And after a few weeks, you forget you've ever worked anywhere else. Well, you don't. It depends. It depends. Cool. Let me know what you think. Do press subscribe, do press the bell, all of that sort of thing, and press like. A couple of people have been pressing dislike. If you really want to, you can, but it always confuses me and makes me sad. <laughs>